Well, I think the most life-changing experience that I've had in the wild filming for Earth Touch is the contact that I established with one great white shark in particular. This really changed my perspective on man's place next to apex predators. I started to realize that humans could actually function unprotected in the environment of these super predators. And for that reason, it's, it's actually a mind-blowing experience because there's almost an understanding that built up between myself and this shark. And it's very hard to explain because the, the sensation that you're feeling at that particular time is so intense. Your fear is so intense and your, your sense of anticipation as to what this creature that, that could essentially be the end of you would do next and your response to that becomes very, very important in this physical play of, of language. The shark would come in, be unsure of what I was, trying to work out what I was doing in its environment, and the whole interplay was dictated by my reaction to the approach of the shark. This went on for 20 or 30 minutes, and it culminated in actual physical contact, which is very unusual and not something that, that I condone at all, but the acceptance of this animal and the caution with which it was dealing with me. And at first it was a little bit twitchy and not, not accepted too much, but then after a while the shark definitely got the idea and I ended up on as intimate a level as, as any human is ever going to be with a, an apex predator in the ocean. Another particular moment that sticks in my mind as being special was when we came across a, a big humpback whale that was sailing, had its tail out the water just off Nine Mile Reef at Sodwana Bay. And I'd, I'd swum quite close to this creature, try to really be quiet to try and record the sound. couple of seconds where I find myself a little bit too close to this animal and it's it's very strange being near a whale it's almost like being near a ship where this water sucks and pulls you along and you actually don't have control of, of where you are and I ended up right up against the trunk of this tail and there were a few tense moments when the whale decided to to sound and swim away and uh, I almost ended up directly under the fluke of this three-ton tail I think the point of a lot of these things is that you actually wouldn't be able to do them if you didn't have a camera because 
you're intent on capturing that experience or that behavior onto the camera and it's a very strange mindset because you almost in a way forget that you're actually right there in that situation and and a lot of the time obviously terrible harm could come to you you know you'll watch the footage afterwards and you think I mean I must have been crazy to do that but at the time you're so engrossed in the situation and in the fact that you're covering this thing to show to other people that that edge is taken right off 